growing up in Lawrence as one of the best athletes in town, John Hadle seemed destined to be a Jayhawk. However, John's commitment to KU took a little more than talent and proximity coinciding. Well, you know, growing up, uh, I, I kind of always wanted to go to KU because I was up and watched practices and sneak into all the games and, you know, all that kind of thing that uh, we all did. I tell you, I actually committed to Oklahoma coming out of high school when Bud Wilkerson was there and they were winning. And the first All-American for Bud Wilkerson was Jack Mitchell, who happened to be our football coach at that time. Jack's probably the greatest recruiter anybody could ever have. And uh, now and then, Jack would come out to Mr. Hadle's garage. Between John and Jack being together and John's dad, Jess, being with Jack, Pretty soon I was thinking KU you really good, and pretty soon I came to KU, so it worked out, and thank God, it worked out beautifully. John's football talent and work ethic propelled him to great heights. Hadel became the first two-time All-America selection for KU football. He excelled as a halfback, quarterback, defensive back, return specialist, and punter. John was a three-time All-Conference honoree and still holds the school record for longest punt. And I said, John, did you know that kick was like that? He said, you know, Larry, he said, it felt really good. And he said, uh, I couldn't see it because everybody had their arms up in the air. But it, it went 94 yards. And I said, John, that's amazing. He said, well, Larry, if the field had been longer, I'd kick it farther. <laughs> well, even when you think of, of, uh, of KU basketball, and you think of all the great players that have played here, you know, there's still two that jump out over everybody else, Chamberlain and Manny. Think of KU football, there's two. There's Gail Sayers and there's John Hadle. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the program hasn't had an abundance of others, but two stand out. John Hadle led KU to a combined 14 wins over his junior and senior campaigns, capping off his college football career with a Blue Bonnet Bowl victory. John's jersey number 21 is one of only three jerseys retired by KU football, and his name appears in KU's Ring of Honor. John was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1994. Hadel went on to play 16 seasons in the NFL, passing for more than 33,000 yards, and was recognized as the NFL Man of the Year in 1971. John's love and knowledge of football led him to become a coach a decision that provided an opportunity to come home. Oh no, I never had any doubt that he would settle back in Lawrence. He was a Lawrence guy, as true and blue as you could ever be. And uh, Gilman, Sid Gilman, the coach, made him stay in San Diego more than he wanted. Uh, it seems funny to us probably, but John got tired of the weather being good all the time. <laughs> I thought, how can you get tired of that? But. Uh, John really missed the weather, but more than that, he missed his mother and his dad, his sister Carol, who worked the football department forever, and, and his close high school friends, uh, all of his friends, he just missed them and had to come back here and love KU. John Hadle's devotion and love of KU shined brightest when he became a fundraiser for Kansas Athletics within the Williams Fund. He built strong, trusted relationships with donors who made vital investments in facilities for student athletes competing in virtually all sports, as well as the legions of Jayhawk fans who treasure KU's winning history and distinctive sports traditions. The Williams Fund job opened, which I was blessed to be the first one, and I'd, I'd have him call people and so forth. It was unbelievable uh, help that he gave. Wherever he was, he would do, he, if you called him, he would help you. I think his biggest impact I think he's had on the athletic department is through the Williams Fund and through the fundraising uh, part of it because nobody's raised more dollars than John did during his time here, and in large part because people like him. That's what makes him uh, uh, the quintessential Jayhawk as much as anything is the fact that this place gave him a platform to, to really uh, do some special things uh, with his life through his craft and then after he's done, he wants to give back to those that, that, uh, that may have the same dreams and aspirations. His ability of raising money at the time that he did, and then his football with Jack Mitchell, as good a uh, coaching staff that we had, uh, I'm not sure you can compare it 
in any era. He touched this university in so many ways, it's unbelievable. They're all positive. And if you had John Havel on your staff or your football squad, or uh, you were one lucky person. I, I, I think the, the pride factor is that uh, we did win. It's a great school, it's a great education. It's, uh, it's everything you want. Uh, when you go to college, and but the biggest thing you really do have when it's all over is the, the friendships that you've created and the relationships that uh, you maintain.